Okay, good morning to one and all present here. Ensure that whether my audio and slides are clear to you. People connected here, please ensure me that yes. Yeah, thank you very much. So today the discussion will be on Millman's theorem, the last uh, network theorem which is there in your syllabus. So uh, the objective of uh, today's lecture is you will be introduced uh, to this Millman's theorem and at the end of the lecture you will be able to understand the statement of Millman's theorem and use this theorem, apply this theorem to analyze an electrical network. So that is the idea. So we already know the drawbacks of KCL and KVL and why we go for it. So what is Millman's theorem states? So this Millman's theorem states that, okay, this particular theorem is used to simplify the circuits having several parallel voltage sources. If you have a circuit having, like what is available in your figure 1, okay, this figure 1, if you see that lot of voltage sources are there, 1, 2, 3, E1, E2, E3, okay, several parallel voltage sources which are connected to resistances in series R1, R2, R3. Okay. We can simplify this network into the diagram which is available in figure 2. What is this diagram provides you? This E1, E2, E3, this combination can be replaced with E equivalent and this R1, R2, R3 can be replaced as R equivalent directly. We can also use any other other theorems also to, to know what is the current flowing across RL. But Millman's theorem provides you a simplified circuit. Like if you have a connection like this, like voltage sources in connected in parallel can be formed as an equivalent circuit having a E equivalent and R equivalent in series. And directly you can apply these two formulas, formula number 1 and formula number 2 to calculate, you calculate the E equivalent and R equivalent. What is that formula? E equivalent is equal to E1 by R1, E2 by R2, E3 by R3. This plus or minus depends upon the polarity, the polarity of E1, E2. If E1 is plus minus and if E2 is found to be minus plus, then automatically here your minus comes here minus E2 by R2. Are you getting the point? If your polarity is changing, if the if the voltage source polarity is in the opposite direction of the other two voltages, then automatically the formula has a minus there. So that is why you have a plus or minus sign always there. So kindly make a note of that also. So I can I can I can find or draw an equivalent network for the figure 1 network which is having multiple uh, the voltage sources connected in parallel to a voltage source in series with the resistance. Do not confuse this with uh, what you call it as uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuit or, uh, or something like that which is uh, going to be uh, what is that source transformation not like that. Okay, So I can convert this particular figure 1 circuit into a, a transform this into a figure 2 circuit with using these formulas. So this formula is very important. So kind of make a note of that E equivalent is equal to E1 by R1, E2 by R2 plus or minus E3 by R3. Uh, how many number of uh, the parallel connections? This formula extends to that divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3, etc. And what is R equivalent? R equivalent is equal to 1 divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3, etc. Got the point? Hello? Hello, everybody. And this, this is also some literatures might have given you with something like that E1 G1, okay, plus or minus E2 G2, plus or minus E3 G3. I already know what is G3. G3 is what? G3 is equal to 1 by R3. That is conductance. Conductance in Mo or uh, Siemens, okay. 
G3 is equal to 1 by R3. So people will have, uh, instead of this 1 by R1, 1 by R2, they put like G1, G2, G3. In some of the literature, some of the textbooks, they might have given you this one. E1, G1 plus R minus E2, G2 plus R minus E3, G3, it goes on. Divided by G1 plus uh, G2 plus G3, it goes on. Getting the point, understand like that, understand the concept behind it. Or circuit in the Mari, Naria voltage sources parallel are in China, other every Matikala, or voltage source series with the resistance of Matikala, Adagada formula and formula E equivalent to R equivalent. All of them. Is there are doubts in the particular concept? Le? Hello, everybody, please connected here. Comment on that. Do you have any doubts? In this particular uh, particular concept, Purunjada in the Mari network, Karanana in the Mari network, Matha Mudio. Everybody, everybody connected here, please comment. Hello? Only one, one girl is responding. So, you have a network with a lot of voltage sources connected in parallel. I can convert this network into a network which is available in figure 2. What is the network? It is having one equivalent, one voltage source connected with one equivalent resistance. And the formula for finding out the equivalent voltage and the equivalent resistance is being given here. E equivalent is equal to R equivalent is equal to. Okay. On the other way, you might, you might also have a circuit which is having current sources in parallel with resistances. Okay. In parallel with resistances connected in series. Like what you have it in figure 3. This is figure 3, which can be transformed or found, uh, you, you can convert this network into its equivalent form, like I equivalent by R equivalent. And the formula for I equivalent is provided, the R equivalent is provided. One uh, I1, R1 plus or minus I2, R3, and again, it depends upon the direction of the current flow, this plus or minus. If any of the source is in the opposite direction, then you have to take a minus there, reference, with, re with respect to the reference current. I1, R1, plus R minus I2, R2, divided by R1, R2, R3, it goes on like that. Is that okay? Hello, everybody? And we call this particular uh, concept as dual of the Milman's theorem. Because Milman stated only with voltage sources. Okay. He, de he defined using only voltage sources. But, okay, this is also possible. And kindly, this is a direct formula based uh, theorem, which can also use a three-step methodology using source transformation, which is somewhat nearer to source transformation. And then we can adapt, uh, okay, the Milman's theorem there. That is also possible. So this is one method. You can directly use these formulas to find the equivalent Milman's network and then finally go for your uh, known, uh, uh, finding out the parameter which has been asked actually. Okay. But we can also use a three-step methodology. I will go to the next slide, uh, which is having the, uh, that three-step methodology. But before that, kindly ensure me that the first slide, whatever we have discussed, the first slide, whatever we have, okay, uh, we discussed so far, is clear to you. Please ensure me that the concept, what has been provided, uh, what, are, what has been provided in the first slide is clear to you. So E1, E2, E3 are voltage sources connected in parallel. I can I can convert this voltage source into a single voltage source with the series with a single resistance. And the value of the uh, single voltage source and the resistance can be found using that formula. The same can be applied for the current source parallel with that uh, resistance also, which is having similar type of formulas, I equivalent and R equivalent. Got the, got the idea? Hello, everybody. Please ensure that you are clear with the concept then only when you are applying the uh, when you are applying that in the problem we will be able to de deal with that everybody in the class please respond only two girls are responding yes so let me let me go to the next slide where i told you that i will be using a three step methodology in doing the same work rather than going for the formula directly Okay, I can I can go for a three-step methodology. What is the three-step methodology? Let me start with that. Now you have a network like this, which is available in figure one. I can convert this into which is available in figure two through three steps. I will be I, this conversion has three steps involved. First methodology I have discussed. What is that? I can use directly the formula. 
to convert figure 1 to figure 2. Am I right? Now I am going to talk about or share with you a three step methodology which can be used to convert this figure 1 network into a figure 2 equivalent of Millman's theorem. What we normally do, we will convert this first figure, okay, this figure into this part. What is that? You have you have a current source in parallel with the conductance actually here. So what will be what will be the formula here? Every every uh, this particular E1 R1 we will consider this E1 R1 con combination. That will be that will be converted into a current source in parallel with the conductance. This current current source I1 is equal to E1 divided by R1, or I can write it like E1 divided by G1. 1 by R1 is G1. We already know that G1 is equal to 1 by R1. So I will write E I1 is equal to E1 by R1 and this G1 is equal to 1 by R1. So similarly, I will go for this I2 G2, I will go for this I3 G3. This is the first step. So what, what is that? Convert all voltage sources to current sources. Clear? Any doubts in this slide? Hello? Hello everybody. Please tell me whether you are clear with this, what is, what is happening here. So, uh, okay, this voltage source is converted into current sources. The voltage source in series with the resistances is converted into the current source in parallel with the conductance. Okay, that's the, that's the character, right? Second step. What is the second step? I will combine all these current sources. So, to form an I total, which is going to be I1 plus I2 plus I3. And I will combine all these conductances like G1 plus G2 plus G3, which is total G2. Is that okay? The previous current source in parallel with the conductance, okay, that I will try to convert into a single current source parallel with the total conductance. And the formula here is I1 plus I2 plus I3 and GT is equal to G1 plus G2 plus G3. Is that okay? Is that okay? Hello? Then the third step is this, this current source in parallel with this conductance is converted into a voltage source in series with the resistance. And the formula for converting the current source into a voltage source is E equivalent is equal to I total divided by the conductance. Here you have. Okay, and R equivalent is equal to 1 by GT. Whatever you got this GT, you convert that into 1 by GT. It is indirectly using that formula only, which is available there in the first slide. The same formula, you can see it's here. The same formula is there. So it is have. You can see that. This is this is what we we re, we really plan this figure one to figure two, which is now available here. Am I right? This one, a voltage source in series with the resistance connected with RL in series. Am I right? Is that okay? Is that okay? So we 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 involve with three steps. First step is converting the voltage source connected in series with the resistance into a current source in parallel with the conductance. Then Combine all the current sources and the conductances together. Then convert the current source and conductance into an equivalent voltage source and resistance. Now you have your regular Millman's equivalent circuit where you can apply your Millman's theorem and finally get your required parameter. Now, now, now we will we will see that directly. This is the direct formula. This is the direct formula. I will say formula because we have two formulas here. Now you compare these two E equivalent with this E equivalent. Both are same. R equivalent with this one. Both are same. This is using this three step methodology. You can see that formulas are same. 1 by R1 is G1, which is available here. 1 by R2 is G2. 1 by R3 is G3. E1 by R1 is equal to E1 G1. 
E2 by R2 is equal to E2 G2. It is there actually. Am I right or not? So, formulas are same. You can directly use the formula to find the equivalent or you can use a three-step methodology to do that. Understand that? Hello, everybody. Please respond. Either you can use a three-step methodology or you can use a direct formula method to calculate what is the equivalent uh, circuit for a given uh, electrical network having uh, voltage sources connected in parallel or the current sources connected in parallel. Hello? Is that clear? Okay, then fine. So, I will try to go for a problem. So, I will take this example. This is example 1. I am going to use the Millman's theorem to find the current through and the voltage across this load resistor 3 ohms. Okay, this RL. Okay, this RL. I will try to find what is the current passing through that resistor and the voltage across it. If I know the current, I can find the voltage also. So, what I am going to do is I am going to use directly your formulas here. I will try to convert this network into this network. So, the for that I am going to use the formula directly. What is the formula? E1 by R1, E2 by R2, E3 by R3. And you can see that this is plus minus. This is plus minus. Now, you can see here it is minus plus. The second voltage source is having a minus plus. Then third one is plus minus. So, what I will have? E1 by R1 minus E2 by R2. You understand what, why you have a e minus E2 by R2? Because the polarity is different. Plus E3 by R3 divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Because of the E2 is having a different polarity, I will have a minus sign. Do you understand? Do you understand? Hello, everybody. Hello, people in the class, please respond. Do you understand why you have got a minus there? Because my polarity is having minus plus there. Okay, I am having a negative val value there, right? So, I will substitute that E1 is 10 volt. What is E1 is 10? E2 is equal to 16. E3 is equal to 8. R1 is equal to 5. R2 is equal to 4. And R3 is equal to 2. So, I will substitute all these values here. I will get 10 by 5, 16 by 4, 8 by 2. 1 by 5, 1 by 4, 1 by 2. So, this E equivalent, I will get it like 2.11 uh, volt. If I solve that, then I will be getting it like 2.11 volt. Got the formula? Just get, just applying that in the formula, I am getting the value. So, my E equivalent is going to be 2.11 volt. Then what is R equivalent? R equivalent is equal to 1 divided by this formula. R, is e R equivalent is equal to 1 divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So, if I apply that, I will get it like 1 by 1 by uh, 1 by 5 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. You get it here. So, I will get it like 1.05. I will get it like 1.5, 1.05 ohms. So, your R equivalent is equal to 1.05 ohms. They are connected in series. Now, I am interested in finding out what is the current IL passing through this 3 ohm resistor. So, the formula here, what is that formula? The current, total current is equal to total voltage. What is the total voltage? Total voltage is E equivalent divided by the total resistance, R equivalent plus RL. So, I will get it like 2.11 here, 2.11 divided by the total resistance is 1.05 plus 3. So, 2.11 divided by 4.05 will give you 0 0.52 ohms, 52 amperes. So, that is my current. So, that current into 3 ohms will give me my voltage, 1.56 voltage. 1.56 voltage. Is that clear? So, applying Millman's theorem here, applying Millman's theorem and we are able to find the voltage on the current uh, corresponding to this 3 ohm resistor, that low resistor. Is that okay? This is method 1. Okay, this is method 1 where I will be using the formula directly. Am I right? I have been using this formula directly, finding out E equivalent. I am using the formula directly E equivalent R equivalent. Am I right or not? Hello? Hello, everybody. Please tell me whether you have understood the problem. 
okay i am using the formula formula of direct ah use pandren e equivalent ku r equivalent ku formula direct ah use panni apply pandren okay what i will do is i will go for the second method what is the second method the second method is i will be using the three step methodology method 2 for the same problem i will go for the three step methodology so what is my first step i will convert i will convert all this complete network into a current source a current source current source in parallel with the conductance am i right or not the second is having a different polarity so i will mark it the current direction based on that third one is having the same polarity so i will mark the current direction and finally your rl and what is the value of i1 i1 is going to 10 by 10 by 5 which will going to be 2 amperes and 1 by 5 is equal to 0.2 more 0.2 more the same way 16 by 4 is going to be 4 amperes and 1 by 4 is going to be 0.25 more siemens or i can say 8 by 2 8 by 2 is equal to 4 amperes and 1 by 2 is going to be 0.5 more and this is going to be 3 ohm so i have converted every so i will write it i1 is equal to what i1 is equal to 10 by 5 which is equal to 2 amperes and what is g1 g1 is equal to 1 by r1 which is equal to 0.2 more same way what is i2 i2 is equal to 16 by 4 which is equal to 4 amperes and what is g2 g2 is equal to 1 divided by 4 which is equal to 0.25 more or siemens i3 is equal to i3 is equal to 8 by 2 which is equal to 4 amperes and g3 is equal to 1 by 2 which is equal to 0.5 ohm it is not ohms conductance so the inverse of the inverse of the resistance more mho or siemens okay so now this is your uh, this is your uh, value so what i can do i will add to find the total current what is that i1 minus i2 plus i3 So what is I want two minus four plus four, which is going to be two amperes. What is your uh, G total? G total is equal to G one plus G two plus G three. So it is going to be point two plus point two uh, five plus point five. So I will convert this entire current source in parallel with the conductance as a single current source parallel with the conductance. So I will have the current source like this. and the conductance connected across it and the total load resistor this is 3 ohm and this conductance gt is equal to if you add all this what you will get 0.95 more so 0.95 more and this is 2 amperes this is your i total and this is your g total now i have to convert this into a voltage source the voltage source in series with the resistance r equivalent and e equivalent i have to know what is your e equivalent and r equivalent and this is your rl which is 3 ohms what is the formula for e equivalent hello what is the formula e equivalent is equal to i total divided by g total so tell me 2 divided by 0.95 what is the value use your calculators and tell me and what is r equivalent r equivalent is equal to 1 by g equivalent which is equal to 1 divided by 0.95 also tell me that value also tell me that what is 2 divided by 0.95 hello everybody please use your calculators yes it is 2.105 thank you very much clarish felina and jonofer nisha it is 2. 105 volts and tell me what is r equivalent also 1 divided by 0.95 1 1 divided by 0.95 it is going to be yes it is going to be 1.05 ohms so i will write my e equivalent it is 2.105 volt and it is going to be 1.05 ohms you can see that what is that value you get here in the previous case E equivalent is equal to 2.11 and R equivalent is equal to 1.05. Now you compare that here; it is nearly 
2.105 and 1.05 mostly it is same because the multiple decimal values might have uh, led to you okay this the, this uh, small change in the value right now i am interested in knowing that il what is the what is the formula for calculating il il is equal to total voltage 2.105 uh, divided by the total resistance 1.05 plus 3 what is the value 2.105 divided by 4.05 tell me the value please 2.105 divided by 4.05 the current value hello everybody use the calculators tell me 2.105 divided by 4.05 yes please make it fast How much time? Yeah, zero point five one nine amperes. Zero point five one nine amperes. What is that value in the previous case? In the previous case, the current IL is equal to what? Zero point five two amperes. Zero point five two. Here you are getting zero point five one nine. Mostly same. So obviously your uh, voltage VL is equal to what? IL into RL. So it is equal to 0.519 into 3. Tell me, 0.519 into 3, 1. Point, I will get it like 1.559 volts. Check it out. Check it out. I L yes 1.557. Okay, okay, maybe right 1.557 volts. Okay, right. What is the previous value you got? You got it like 1.56. Here you are getting 1.557. Both are same. Two decimals. If you round it off, you will get it like 1.56 volts. Here also, if you round it off, you will get it like 1 uh, 0.52 amperes. So you can use any of these two methods to to calculate your to calculate your values. Am I right? Is that clear? This three-step methodology can also be applied. To calculate the Millman's equivalent and apply your, uh, you can find the unknown parameters. Are you clear with the uh, with this particular method too? Please respond. Yeah. Hello. Really? Yeah. Right. So let me go to uh, another example. This is example number two. Now. I'm, I'm using a, the second method here, right? You can see that the second method has been utilized. I will just go through it. Okay, now now see that 5 and 1 ohm, 10 and 6 ohms, both polarity are same, so the current directions are marked similar. And uh, you can see that G1, here they have used this as the resistances, okay? These resistances R1, R2, they have made it like you can make it as G1, G2 also. You can see the formula is uh, formula is dealing with only G1, G2. So anyway, you can you can directly have this as G1, G2 also. Okay, you can also have this as G1, G2 also. So one by one, and here you can also like like one by six. Okay, so that's what you have it here, one by six, right? So five by one, this is five amperes. Ten by six, you will have it like uh, 5 by 3 okay this i2 is 5 by 3 and you have g1 is 1 ohm and g2 is 1 by 6 now you have it like 1 1 by 6 and here 5 plus 5 by 3 so you add these two convert this so you will get 20 by 3 amperes for a total current and uh, g total is going to be 7 by 6 1 plus 1 by 6 1 plus 1 by 6 is 7 by 6 so you have your g total you have your i total now i want e equivalent what is E equivalent? I total divided by G total. So, which is equal to 20 by 3 into 6 by 7. So, what I will get? 40 divided by 40 divided by 7. Okay, this is going to be 40 divided by 7. What is R equivalent? R equivalent is equal to 1 by GT. So, what is that? You will get 6 by 7 ohms. So, if I convert that, I will be getting it like 20 by 3. I, if I convert that, I will get it like here. Can see that 40 by 7, 6 by 7. Now I can find what is the current passing through that. I am getting it 2 amperes. So as simple as that, the previous we have done it. This is a very simple problem which has been available also. 
so second step we are converting the current source to a voltage source and finally we are finding out the current passing through that load resistor which is equal to 2 amperes is that okay hello everybody is that okay hello i have taken a simple problem and i have applied the same concept which is actually the three step methodology uh, i have got my result that's it i will go for uh, method 2 is also direct formula you can see that this is been taken by the formula what is that e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 divided by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and i am getting e equal to is equal to 40 by 7 then r equal to is equal to 1 divided by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and i am getting 6 by 7 as a voltage uh, resistance value so i am getting the 2 amperes current so method 2 is also proved i, I have used the same uh, what is that uh, direct formulas to calculate the unknown parameter the current passing through this 2 ohms uh, resistance so let me let me go for the dual part okay what is the dual part okay this is the direction of the current source okay so i will i will try to i will try to write the uh, equation what is that i equivalent i will use that direct formula i equivalent is equal to what i got you check my first slide what is the first slide denoted you can see that i1 r1 plus i2 this is i equivalent i equivalent this is r equivalent so i1 r1 plus i2 r2 plus r minus i3 r3 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 so i will use that formula i will use that formula here i equivalent is equal to what generally i1 r1 plus r minus i2 r2 because i have only two sources plus r minus here divided by r1 plus r2 and what is r equivalent r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 okay that is what is that right okay now i i i, I will try to convert this into a into a, a single a single current source with a resistance connected with it so this is i equivalent this is r equivalent is that right so what is i i equivalent you can see that this both are in the opposite direction so what is i1 i1 is equal to 5 i2 is equal to 7 r1 is equal to 3 r2 is equal to 2 so 5 3 sir 15 And minus is here because opposite direction. Seven two sir fourteen divided by what is R one R two? I have five, so I will have one by five as the current value. What is R equivalent? R equivalent is equal to three plus two, which is equal to five. Is that okay? So I equivalent is equal to one by five amperes, and R equivalent is equal to five ohms. So what is the current passing through this R L, which is I L? since both the resistances are of same up to this point you will have the same uh, current value after that it will be dividing both are same so i will have the il is equal to half of that current which is going to be there so it is going to be 1 by 10 amperes 1 by 5 divided by 2 which is going to be 1 by 10 or if you are interested in current division i can write it like il is equal to the total current is 1 by 5 into the opposite branch resistance divided by the total resistance so i will get it like 1 by 10 amperes both are same is that okay so if you have a current source directly provided this is what you call it as dual millman's theorem dual millman's theorem instead of having a voltage source parallel now you have a current source there so how to deal with that these are the two formulas why i put a minus here this minus why i got this minus here because the direction of i2 is in the opposite direction of i1 i1 
and I2 are in opposite direction. So I got this minus sign. I1 and I2 are in the opposite direction, so I got a minus sign. Understand the problem? Hello? Hello, everybody, everybody please respond. Are you clear with the concept? So this is this is again a very simple theorem which is not having much of a complication. So I will I will place you this four problems available for your homework which is already been placed in your Google classrooms. These four problems, the first two problems will be using Millman's method. You can use any of your method directly. You can use the formula or you can use a three-step method to find it. And this is dual Millman's. You can see the current source in. Okay, don't worry about this. This is seem to be a different problem, but they are same. Okay, this 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 uh, th fourth problem is similar to that of this third only. Okay, now you, this is going to be your 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 actual circuit is looking like this. This you have a current source parallel with the resistance, and you have another uh, current source in the opposite direction parallel with the resistance, and you have another current source. Okay. In this direction, with this, okay. Now, in between that, you have a, you have a, a here you have your uh, uh, load resistor. That's it. So you can apply that your uh, your normal methodology. You can apply this normal methodology, and you can find your uh, uh, concepts. So this is what your Millman's theorem states, and uh, how you can apply this Millman's theorem to work on it. Any doubts here? Please ask me. So use this. Uh, try to find. Uh, try to uh, uh, calculate the uh, unknown parameters. All the uh, in all the parameters, they are, in the, all the circuits, they are asking you to find the current and the voltage across uh, the resistor RL. Okay, every resistor is uh, uh, provided. RL is provided. So try to find it. We will discuss about that uh, maybe in some other class. If you have a if you have a doubt, please ask. Me. In this, any of this concept which we discussed it today regarding Millman's, you try to tell me if you have a doubt. Everybody in the class, please respond. I think nearly 14 members are there. So try to tell me or comment on the chat window where do you really need any point uh, to be reconsidered or uh, okay, any, anything I want to uh, repeat it again. 